Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Zoya Alicia and I'm going to make some stamped plaid nails out of it. I've started off with Neltiques Formula 2 and here is Zoya Alicia. Here we go. We're going to go in with our first coat. This is such a pretty polish. It's just, it's so glittery and ugh, just it's a really beautiful hollow. Is it gold? Is it silver? I don't know. Got a little purple going on too. So here we go with our second coat. And it's got an excellent formula. It really does. It goes on just beautiful. Look at that. I love it. <clears throat> I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down so that I can do some stamping. I'm very excited about this one. After all the Halloween manis, <clears throat> now I love Halloween manis, but I was looking forward to just doing something a little different. Hi Woody! Bye Woody! So I'll be using BPL 041 today and the Cold Diary Stampin' Polishes. This one is up in, oh no, it's in smoke, <laughs> and thin milk caramel. I'll be using my Manny Allergy Stamper and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper up in smoke. Think it all Cheech and Chong up on it. <laughs> so here we go with the first design. So I'm just going to just use two different images off of this plate. I'm going to do one in, in the you know gray color and then do this other image with that milk chocolate <clears throat> and I could see this being a flannel shirt oh yes I'd wear a hollow flannel shirt you can bet on it so I kind of picked an image that had some fatter lines and then with my second stamping went in with an image that had skinnier lines just to give it a little bit more you know something something there we go nice scrape pick up so we're just going to pop pop this onto um pop this color on the nails and then roll back through with the second stamping i really do love plaid or flannel looking manis. I think that they're really, really neat looking. Um, you've got all that texture and I, I like it. I like it quite a bit. I am cleaning that plate off with a pure acetone and a cotton ball with that cotton claw. They're so handy. And I'm cleaning that stamper off on my lint roller as usual. And I do have um, down in the description box um, information on where to find these little mats, these little baby silicone mats. I get asked all the time and I really do like having that. It's just, I have actually several of them and they're so handy. So I am doing this to all the nails as you can see. I'm just you know with them being shorter I think you know having them kind of more uniform just looks nice <laughs> and you know so we'll see how that goes because they're not going to be long like overnight so it won't take them long to grow back but you know we'll do, we're just gonna see how long I can hold on you know wearing the same design on all the nails or if I'm gonna start mixing it up again you just never know when I sit down to play there's no telling what's gonna happen I really do love these new Nicole diary polishes um, for stamping they're just really nice so I am gonna go in with a piece of tape and do some cleanup ta-da it's coming up just great makes me so happy and now for my little cleanup with my acetone my cleanup brush I will have a um, haul slash swatch video of all the new Nicole diary stamping polishes I got 
I'm going to top this with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Sitting out. I thought, well, let's just go on and use it. There we go. Capping that free edge. And there it is. And here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.